In a previous video, I showed how to create a circular progress bar with a single HTML element and CSS. Then I got a message asking, how would it be if I wanted to do it with a semicircle instead of a circle? That is a common theme also for progress bars. And the answer is, it's fairly straightforward. You don't need to change the HTML, and we can achieve that just by changing the CSS. Let's see how. Starting from the code of the previous progress bar, we're going to make some changes. First, the circle, we need to make it a semicircle. So instead of having an aspect ratio of one, it's going to be of two to one because we want it to be double wide than high. Then the border radius, instead of being 50%, is going to be 50% for the width but we want it to be 100% for this corner, 100% for this corner, and then zero and zero. So let's do it by adding 100%, 100%, zero, and zero. Now we have, you can see our semicircle here, which is good, but still, the you see the, the gradient is starting from the middle. So let's change it so it starts from 50%, 100% from, from the bottom of the semicircle. We still have a problem, it's starting pointing to the top. So what we want to do is saying from 0 0.75 turn. That is because this would be 0 turns, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. And before we could use the percentage because we were using the whole thing, but because now it's a semicircle, we only use half. So this bar percentage needs to be divided by two. Now we need to change the mask. The mask right now is an ellipse and it's not exactly what we want. We need to move it to the bottom again, like the other one. We do that by saying at 50%, 100%. And we don't need to do it in the WebKit mask too. So 50%, 100%. And that is about it. Uh, the only thing is that this number doesn't look okay. What we can do is uh, instead of placing items center, we can say, align item center so they are aligned um, and then sorry let's put a, a flex instead of grid and then we're going to say justify content uh, center sorry so we want to say instead of center here we want to say flex end so it's at the bottom flex end and now we have a semicircular a progress bar with the name at the bottom and it grows and as before we can change the value 33 33 and it will automatically update just like that let's start by moving some things around i'm going to remove the overflow hidden from here uh, to the before and then I'm going to move the border radius from here again to the before too. And we will have the same effect. Now we don't need a background with the conic gradient uh, like that. We would do something, I mean, it would start here, but we can do something like a green, then yellow, then red. And let's see, uh, perfect. Uh, the only problem is that it's going the full circle so we don't see the, the red. What we can say is red is 180 degrees. That would be here. And let's make the green go up to 90 degrees. So it's green up to here, then turns into yellow and then red. Then what we want to do is instead of having the 33%, we want to have the line. So let's put a content that is going to be empty for now. 
and then we're going to say the width is going to be like 60% um, then the height is going to be 10% it's going to be position absolute uh, top no top let's put bottom minus 5% and uh, left zero and let's put a background for now but it's going to be red just so we can see it okay so here we have our speedometer um, but let's change it a little bit more um, instead of this we're going to have a conic uh, gradient gradient that is going to start at 0 50 percent and it's going to go let's say 80 uh, sorry it's going to be transparent up to 80 degrees uh, then it's going to be black for now, say 0, 100 degrees, and then transparent again. And black, we're going to put it, let's be consistent. Uh, and this is at 0, 50, or it doesn't have it. So this doesn't look that great, <laughs> but it's a start. So let's do it 80 degrees. So this should be a little bit more, maybe 88. Uh, no, yeah, 87. And that would be 93 degrees here. And for some reason, this, oh, I'm missing a zero here. That's why it's not displaying it correctly. Okay. So more or less, maybe 88 and 92. And that looks a little bit better. I don't like that it looks a little bit pixelized. Let's start by making a little bit thicker, minus 20% here, so the end, yeah, it's thicker. And now from 88, it looks pixelated because we are doing a stop here that is with zero. If instead we say 88.25 degrees, then 175, and this 92 degrees. Now it's going to be a softer line, and you can see it's a smoother line. So instead of making it black, let's make it a little bit like, well, let, let's leave it like that for now. And what we're going to say is the transform origin, we want it to be at the 50% of this, uh, because the, the width of this one is 60, uh, the midpoint is going to be 50 divided by 60 times 100 that uh, comes to be something like 83.333 percent and vertically we want it 50 percent so now uh, when we say transform rotate let's say 45 degrees that's going to be 45 correct 90 would be here so what we want to do it is proportional to the value. So proportional to the value means uh, if this is 33, let's say calculate, we want to do it uh, the value, bar uh, value, uh, times 180 degrees and divided by 100. And when we do that, you see, if now the value changes to 50, and this goes to 52, you see, it's vertical, perfect. If it goes to 75, then it should be somewhere here. Perfect. So now the only thing is uh, to, let's put something here in the middle. So let's say a radial gradient that is going to be at uh, 83.3333. 50% and red 20% and then transparent let's see how that looks um, if I did it right I need a comma so it displays and we want it to be a circle Ooh, that's a really big circle so let's make it a 5% here that looks a little bit better so let's make it uh, 5%. So let's say it's going to be white up to a 4%. Then it's going to be black from there to a 5%. And then it's going to be transparent. 
and then the gauge is black is fine and that's it so that's how we made something that looks like an speedometer